would come home on leave from the Navy, he would, um, we'd go to like, uh, we know when they used to have, um, like blockbuster type stores, he would take us and he would rent a, D a, a DVD player and movies for us to watch movies. Uh, we didn't go to the movie theaters or anything like that. Anyway, so we would help. So, um, we had to create stuff. I remember being super little. Uh, we, yeah, like super duper little. And my mom was teaching us how to make our Barbies dolls. And so, um, <laughs> I remember like, they were like, okay, so, uh, anyway, just, <laughs> yeah, we would make our Barbies dolls out of like, you know how you had the socks with the ruffles on them? Um, you know, if you outgrew one or if there was a little hole in the heel or something, you didn't throw it away. You would make a really cute, you know, dress out of it for your, your Barbie. Um, so, yeah, I could hand sew a little bit, uh, but I never learned how to sew with the machine. But that was soon change. Okay. Anyway. Um, and then also, not just stuff like that, but also, um, oh, later on, my mom taught me how to crochet. Nothing fancy, nothing like a doily, just like literally straight lines. We made, we were working on a big blanket one winter, and it was like, it ended up being like a king size blanket, and she gave it to my sister, uh, the one that's a nurse, not married. Uh, she's the second, I'm the youngest, she's the second to last. Um, when she graduated from I don't know, high school or college, um, my mom gave her the blanket, and I was like, but it was okay. Like, I didn't mind. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me see what else. Um, oh, so it wasn't just, like, stuff like that. When I was a little girl, um, because we were poor, we didn't have a lot of toys. It was very hot and humid where I grew up. And so, um, and we just had, like, basic television. Not even cable. So, the picture was always messed up. You know, had the, um, you know, we have the... <laughs> vice grips on the, on the television to change the channels and you had to put foil on the antenna I mean we it was sad it was hilarious it was I mean looking back I can, I can see it was hilarious but um yeah so it was um let me see let me keep working on this little guy right here so it was um, decisions decisions Bring anyway, so it was, um, oh, to find stuff to do, like, we had to keep staying chain. Sometimes it was just even, like, it seemed to be even hotter inside than it was outside. So we would have to, I'd have to go play outside. And so, um, I remember one time my dad showed me, he got, um, two of the big cans of Folgers coffee. You know how they used to be metal? I don't know if they still are. But, um, I don't know about that. Let's see, there's something with gray. But I really like that nerd. That's a cute nerd. That has yellow, but I think... Hmm. Um, so he, he got two coffee cans, and then, uh, so they were empty, right? So upside down, and we poked, he helped me poke a hole on, you know, on opposite ends like that. And then we put string through so that it looked like it had a handle, but on the bottom side. And so we had two of those, and then he put his feet on either one. And so he was, like, walking on stilts. You know, he had to hold the string up by your hands and coordinate your hand movements with the strings so that you wouldn't fall out, like, your foot wouldn't fall off the can. Anyway, so we had to innovate stuff like that. Um, like, Susie Tootsie Tucker had said... I think it was her that she, you, she would make like furniture for her Barbie doll with a tissue box. I remember my mom taught me how to get a hand towel and like roll it a certain way. So it made like a plush couch. It was like, oh my gosh, my Barbie had her own apartment. <laughs> she had her own couch. So anyway, yeah. So ever since I was a little girl, I love doing stuff like that. But then as I got older and I was super shy, of course, more self-conscious, I... I loved art class, but I hated it at the same time because nothing I did was perfect. And I um, always felt like it had to be. 
and so it never was so I was just like oh so frustrated so I don't know about that green but um mm -mm. So yeah, I was always quite frustrated with my lack of art abilities, like bubble letters, whatever we're working on. It was never perfect, and I hated that. Um, and it wasn't until, I believe, middle school when I was in choir. I was in choir elementary, and time there was a special little choir. I loved doing that. Uh, middle school, I remember the first competition we had. I was so mortified, because it was me on stage, da 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 but the moment we, it was as a choir, not as a solo, uh, but at the moment I went out on stage, I was like pumped. I was like, yeah, we're ready. We're going to do this, you know? And so even if it wasn't perfect, I knew that my friends and I, we had done our very best to prepare. And so that kind of started me getting over myself and trying to be perfect. And um, yeah, so little by little... I learned from different people just to get over myself and uh, like I said before there's beauty in our imperfections not just in ourselves but in our crafts um, and then if several years back maybe like four or so I was watching HSN and I discovered Anna Griffin and I love she uses a lot of like vintage wa wallpaper lace all this kind of stuff to get floral images and then she like re redoes them a little and uses them in her ephemera and paper and papers and stuff like that and i think it's so beautiful so um that's how i started paper crafting and so hsn sells her kits and they're so easy um they come with like anyway they're just really fun and so um but when I got him, I was super intimidated. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, that same mentality of I'm going to mess it up, you know, came, came up in me. But then I was like, no, I would make a few, um, like sample ones that they had. And then after I kind of, you know, got the hang of it, I would figure out like what went with what. And I would make my own design or whatever. Um, and then I kind of stopped doing that for a while. And then I d started watching YouTube and that's how I got into paper crafting all over again. Okay, that question was forever. <laughs> okay, so my family craft tools. Where did I get my love for crafting? Number ocho. Donde descubrí mi amor o mi deseo, mi alegría en de para craft? Um, so, oh my gosh, so Tex-Mex. Anyway, um, eso comenzó cuando era una niña. Mi mamá nos enseñó a hacer ropita para nuestras Barbies, nuestras, um, muñecas. So, ahí comenzó eso. También me enseñó cómo hacer uh, crochet, crochet, no sé cómo se dice en español, uh, pero... Una vez hicimos una cama, una cama, no a ver, una cobija bien grande y mi mamá se lo regaló a mi hermana cuando graduó de, no sé si era de high school o college. Um, y también eran, éramos bien pobres. So cuando estábamos aburridas, Um, tenía o oh, aburrida yo tenía que hallar qué hacer para para as, divertirme so una vez mi papá me enseñó a hacer uh, garamos dos botes de café de folders así cuando eran de metal de no era aluminio no sé Um, pero lo, lo pusimos así boca abajo y luego hicimos, hicimos dos agujeros y luego le pusimos um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? como un listón o oh, algo como un listón así en cada uno y mi papá se puso sus pies así 
y me enseñó cómo caminar así con, con las, los botes de café. Y so, siempre teníamos que hacer cosas así para entre, entretenernos. Y, pero cuando yo comencé escuela, yo, la escuela yo era bien... I don't know how to say shy, oh my gosh. Um, me importaba mucho lo que pensaban otros de mí y era bien miedosa. So, y yo quería hacer todo perfecto y pues nada que hacemos es perfecto, ¿verdad? So, cuando yo ir, iba a la clase de arte me encantaba, pero en la mismo, el mismo tiempo no me gustaba porque nada que, nada que hice yo era perfecto. Y me enojaba y no me gustaba. So, cuando, era, cuando estaba en middle school, secundaria, um, estaba en choir y la primera vez que, que estábamos en una competencia, uh, íbamos a, a subirnos en el, um, ¿cómo se dice? Stage. Y estaba bien nerviosa, pero no más así cuando pisé en el, en el stage, oh my gosh, en el stage, ya no tenía nervios. Estaba uh, orgullosa de, no nomás de yo misma, pero de mis amigos y amigas, porque ya habíamos trabajado mucho para estar listos para cantar. Y eso comenzó um, mi camino de, de no querer, de no tener que estar perfecta en, en todo. Um, pero no más divertirme y hacer lo mejor que, que pude. So, um, hace unos como cuatro o cinco años yo descubrí a Anna Griffin en HSN y ella tenía... Vende cajas de para hacer cartas um, como un kit. Y me compré unos kits y me encantó hacer las cartas. Uh, primero sentí, oh no, yo no puedo hacerlo perfecto, pero nomás hice unas cartas que de mm, como retratos que, que mandaron con el que y luego después que vi que sí no podía hacer lo que tenían ahí, yo hice um, lo que yo quería con lo demás. So, um, oh, so después, como dije antes, descubrí a YouTube y Paper Crafty. Okay, this is going to be like so long. You guys knew. You guys knew when you tagged me this was going to happen. Okay. Mm, number nine. Oh, wow, two more. When did I start crafting? Okay, I kind of said that already. Um, kind of when I was a little girl. Kind of a few years ago with Anna Griffin, and most recently just um, around the time that I started my channel-ish. Um, I don't remember when that was, because I don't remember anything. Número nueve, cuando comenzó a hacer crafts? Y ya dije esa respuesta, cuando era niña hacía cosas, y recientemente... No más en menos de en este año comencé a hacer um, crafts así. Number 10. My favorite craft I've made so far. Oh my land. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what? What is my favorite craft I've made so far? Um, I think um, it's kind of not one thing. It's kind of, and it wasn't this, this, so much the execution uh, as it was the the idea that I had for Alicia Love Letter Generation's uh, birthday. Um, 
I kind of have to map stuff out in my mind first before I start. Like this one, that's why it's so simple, but I'm struggling with this because I kind of have to like, mm, look and da da da. Uh, but like bigger stuff, I need to definitely like think about everything first. Oh no, where did my other one go? Oh no. Sorry guys. I'm missing a bow. Hot crud. Anyway, I'll find it. I would say Paul Rudd. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Dang it. Oh, so, um, I ended up being late for a challenge and it didn't matter. I mean, it, it sucked that I wasn't in time for a challenge, but I just wanted to get the stuff to her. Um, so, just the, the theme that I picked for her birthday and then I was just hoping that she would laugh and she did oh no i'm using the wrong scissors anyway um so yeah i think that just the the idea i came up with that and um kind of like the execution i know it wasn't perfect but i just think every little thing was just so much fun to come up with and create and um there are several other ideas that I had that I just could not execute in time because I was already late but that was probably by far my favorite um item I've crafted that was so much fun um I've also um painted a little bit I was in um like a military spouses group and they had all like a ton of clubs and I was like I don't know what club to be in 50, 50 cent <laughs> one of his songs just popped into my head anyway so um what was I saying? hot crud hot oh, crud um look he's missing a leg hi sorry you want to tuck up under him? yeah I'll do that so oh man I keep forgetting what I'm saying I need to end this for y'all's sake and my own. Um, what was the question? I was talking about that. Oh, painting. Oh, so I, I joined the painting club. I'm like, oh, that really might be fun. So um, we painted. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I think I've done like three. I think one of my favorites was the water color painting um the lady that would host the painting club she had someone come in to teach us and we she taught us lots of different techniques most of which i've forgotten but she was the kind of person that wanted to get her hands on your project like she wanted to get in there doing it. it's like no i will do it i wanted i wanted to legitimately say i had created it and um so that i think that was probably one of my favorite paintings um it was just really fun um and then we painted other stuff. So that was fun. I wouldn't say I'm like even good at it. I just think it's it's fun to do that. I really, really, I really want to try uh, a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> I absolutely love him. Like we love him. My husband and I, even the kiddos, will watch some of his vids sometimes and He's just so awesome. So they used to sell his kit at Hobby Lobby, but I haven't seen it in a while. But, um, yeah, I want to do, um, I wanted to, I wanted to get his kit so my husband and I can try, you know, painting, um, one of his paintings. I know that was kind of popular recently, like trying to rec recreate a Bob Ross painting, and I could only watch some of them because some people were just like so disrespectful, not even trying. It's like no. But anyway, it's okay. Um, it's not gonna go back in. I'm trying to suck some back in. Something like that. I just kind of cover up your hiney and your head because your head is wonky. Well, 
we'll see how that turns out. Um, I don't even know what the question was. So yeah, the um, Alicia's birthday challenge, late challenge stuff that I put together, and then um, that watercolor. I think they were like Mexican poppies that we painted, something like that. Um, I painted some. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was that was fun. Numero yes. Mi favorito craft que he hecho es um, 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 cuando hice las cosas para Alicia Love That Generation para su cumpleaños. Me encantó la idea que tuve y cómo hice las cosas. No eran perfectas y no hice todas las cosas que quería hacer, pero me encantó. Me diré, me, me diré, me, mm. Me divertí mucho en pensar en ellas. También mi esposo me ayudó en pensar unas cosas. Um, y me encantó que a ella también le gustó mucho. So, también he pintado un poquito. Y una de las cosas favoritas que aprendí, pero que casi ya se me olvidó todo, fue watercolors. Uh, es, esa, esa clase o lo que sea, como se dice... Um, que, que tomé o que ese grupo en que estuve me encantó esa, esa that session ok so now I'm gonna tag some people and um, I'm gonna tag some people that don't have channels yet that haven't done videos um, because there are several that I've been trying to get to start making vids and um one of them two of them actually are a little self-conscious about their accents um in their english and i said don't worry about it like I, seriously i think my mom has a really cute accent and uh yeah so i think they're cute i know some people are, like mean about it whatever but that's you do it um so so the two people Two people that are okay. So I'm I'm gonna tag three. Two the two of the three, like I said, are um, one of their hesitations are their accents. But if I can do this video in two languages, <laughs> very broken <laughs> Spanish, sometimes even broken English, uh, then you can do it too. Um, yo hice este video en dos idiomas porque dos de las tres mujeres que voy uh, ponerles la meta de hacer estos videos, este video uh, todas las tres no, todas la, de las tres mujeres no tienen, tienen canales pero no tienen videos y dos de las tres son um, teman hacer videos por el acento que tienen porque um, su, su, prim, su primer idioma de las dos Mujeres es español. So, um, tres. Son tres, tres, tres que son hispanohablantes que, que teman hablar inglés en video y una que no es hispanohablante. So, the four people that I'm tagging are. Carrie Martin's Crafty Emporium. I'm so sorry if I get y'all's channel's name wrong because I did not write them down. Like, I took notes of other things and I didn't write them down. I'm so sorry. So, Carrie Martin. Get a video up, girl. Um, so, yeah, I'm challenging you to do this. It's a great way to get started and to get people to know you and to like you. Um, I'm also challenging... Oh my gosh, I don't know what the cat... They're doing something naughty, those cats. Anyway, um, the three people that I'm going to challenge, the other three are Zulisi, mi papita, <laughs> uh, Nilda Bonilla, and... Hold on, I just heard something weird. Hold on, guys, sorry. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard a ping pong, like, bouncing, and I was like, we don't have ping pongs. Okay, everything's fine. Um, so, I said, Carrie Martin, I said, Zuli, I said, Nilda, 
en Leticia Zavala. Son las tres mujeres que voy a ponerles la meta de hacer un video. Su, su primer video de YouTube son Carrie Martin's Crafty Emporium, Zulisi, Nilda Bonilla y Leticia Zavala. So, les quiero apoyar y les quiero decir que sí se puede porque si yo pu me puedo hacer ridícula <ríe> así y no quiero decir que ustedes se van a oír o van a sonar o lo que sea de ridículas. Se lo juro que yo lo he hecho mucho más peor que ustedes lo van a hacer. Uh, va a ser divertido y las personas que la, las quieren apoyar, que son sus amigas, no nos vamos a reír de ustedes. Nos vamos a sonreír, quizás vamos a llorar, vamos a estar bien alegres que ustedes... Uh, escogen hacer es, unos videos no nomás para saber más de ustedes pero también para ver las cosas que hacen porque uh, algunas de ustedes sí uh, tienen Instagram o mandan cosas a otras personas o sí podemos saber sus creaciones, creaciones pero no hemos oído sus voces decir mira eso es con lo que hice esto es por qué lo que sea So, por eso voy, um, ya, yeah, por eso escogí esas cuatro mujeres. That's why I picked those four ladies. Uh, yeah, you guys might um, put stuff on Instagram or whatever or send in stuff to challenges. Oh, I'm so off. But, and however, we haven't heard your voice. We haven't even heard, like, why you've done this and that. And, um... Yeah, we want to get to know you guys more and encourage you guys and those people that really matter, that really encourage you. We're not going to laugh at you. We're going to smile, perhaps cry once we get to know you guys better. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy to, to do this. Oh, my God, I hope I don't have to redo this because it's over an hour. It's probably going to be two or three parts. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I didn't bore you to death. And I hope you had a long and tedious crafting session while listening to my broken english and spanish so thank you guys so so much for watching muchas gracias por verme y oírme escucharme escucharme y aguantarme <laughs> thank you guys for watching listening to me and putting up with me bye